Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right, maybe just for a few minutes. It's my other half, lovely Annabelle. The way Annabelle was is how most of us feel waiting on Red Dead Redemption 2 news from Rockstar Games, which is understandably frustrating. But welcome back, gang. Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 news video for you. Today, we'll be going over the latest news, which includes the potential project aim for this next Red Dead game, building upon the information from the other day where we discussed the leaked cast of this game, and lastly, the rumored center character of Red Dead Redemption 2 liking a recent news video from myself. But if you haven't already, make sure to consider subscribing as I'm one of your best sources for everything to do with this next Red Dead title, and also head on over to my second channel for some additional Red Dead content, including a new episode of the Red Dead Redemption walkthrough series going up today, and a link can be found in the description below to my second channel. Nonetheless, gang, so just the other day, thanks to the investigators at GTA Forums, and specifically user Nude, they were able to find a huge connection with voice actors through Twitter, and since then, there has been some amazing developments I want to go over. If you did miss that video, I highly recommend watching it beforehand, but one of the voice actors, Roger Clark, that has been rumored to be the center character and voiceover, heard in the first trailer for this next Red Dead game, liked one of my recent RDR2 news videos, which is honestly extremely interesting to me. He almost never likes any videos through his official YouTube account, and I almost feel that he forgot that his liked videos were public, and I think over the course of years, he's only liked a few videos, and under the circumstances, it just feels really weird that all of a sudden, when he's being rumored for a role within this game, he likes a video about Red Dead Redemption 2, and also it's nice to see that it was mine. But I will add, if you are watching Roger, keep those hints coming. But continuing on with the cast of RDR2, the connection now has has been brought to Facebook. The other day I discussed all these complex connections through Twitter. With some research we have now found more of Red Dead Redemption 2's cast and I want to add, all these people I am about to mention are friends with each other and this is not just random. These people all have been working together on this next Red Dead title. So here's the list. First off we're going to go over the characters that we already know. Rob Weedoff, the voice actor of John Marston and I want to say it's awesome to see him returning to voice acting and even if it is just for RDR2. But next we have is Benjamin Byron Davis, the voice actor of Dutch Vanderlyn, Steve J. Palmer, the voice of Bill Williamson, and out of the new voice actors, Gabriel Sloyer, who appeared in Grand Theft Auto V as Oscar Guzman, Peter Blumquist, who appeared in L.A. Noir as Harlan Fontaine, Callie Moore, and Nashir Dalal, best known for appearing in Fallout 4 as Brotherhood Knight Reese, and in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 as Khalil. And next, Roger Clark strangely uses Roger Ramjet on Facebook and is friends with almost everybody, and another person that is almost friends with everybody is Kylie Vernoff. But it doesn't just stop there, most of these voice actors have a gap in their resumes around 2014 and 2015, with minimal or no projects work on, which is probably when they were working on Red Dead Redemption 2. Also something that I find interesting is the voice actor of Javier Escuela from Red Dead Redemption, Antonio, can't say his last name, is not friends with any of these people or followed on Twitter by any of these people. And it also seems that he's been working on various projects around the speculated time that these actors were working on RDR2. So it very much is probable that Rockstar may have decided not to include Escuela in RDR2, or the role may have been recasted, possibly by Gabriel Sloyer, or another voice actor. Now I want to move on to another mentioned voice actor, and that is Nashir Dalal, who unlinked and teased his involvement with a major developer for an upcoming game serving as a major character. And he also notes that he did the face, voice, and movement for this game, a full performance capture. And another fascinating detail is that he began this role in May of 2015, and on Facebook he became friends with Rob Weedoff in June of 2015. On his resume, it can actually be found that he has an image of him appearing as a Native American. I don't think that this is related to RDR2, but I strongly believe he could be serving as a Native American in Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar Games has never been known for getting known voice actors like like Troy Baker, Nolan North, so this ensemble of somewhat unknown actors makes sense. What we can gather now is that we have our first insight into the characters of Red Dead Redemption 2. Most of Dutch's gang appears to be returning, a few female characters, maybe Callie Moore being the mysterious blonde in the trailer, Peter Blumquist possibly serving as the antagonist in RDR2 like he did in L.A. Noir as Harlan Fontaine, and Gabriel Sloyer and Nashir Dalal maybe being new additions to Dutch's gang, and lastly, Roger Clark potentially being the center character seen in the poster and trailer. There are still a lot of questions on what role these actors will specifically serve, and this is me somewhat speculating, but let me know if you have any predictions or thoughts on these in the comment section below. Now our last news piece is the project or production name for Red Dead Redemption 2. It has been found through an acting agency, Take-Two's production titles for games that were active around 2014 and being worked on. Now obviously we really don't see any ones that are actual games aside from Civilization Beyond Earth that came in 2014, but with Grand Theft Auto 5 was known as Rush, and Grand Theft Auto 4 was known as Frozen. From this list, one of these is the next Red Dead title, and my guess is on Dakota. 
Through this acting agency's website, Dakota can actually be found dating back to around 2013, which does make sense as most of us by now know this game was being worked on probably as early as 2012. Dakota also does make sense if Rockstar is truly inspiring the game from those respective territories, and that has been seen on the leaked map, and not to mention the probable large Native American involvement that will be in this game. Luckily, through the power of social media, this wait for RDR2 has gotten a little bit better during these long, dry news periods that Rockstar makes us suffer through. With all these leaks and comments from Take 2, we have to expect this next Red Dead to get some official details very soon. And I almost forgot to mention this, but if voice acting was being recorded in the middle of 2015 like Nashir Dalal's LinkedIn account claims, this game should be close to being finished and it could be being polished at this point, as it is said that this part of game development is usually the last. And this also could be more evidence of Rockstar purposely waiting for a certain time to give us new details and gameplay for our next Western journey. But anyway gang, thank you for watching, make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and let me know down in the comment section below what roles you think these voice actors will fill, and don't forget to check my second channel for some additional Red Dead content, and remember, Outlaws to the end.